Greg Madden, Bob Norton, and our Comcast Network crew bringing you the excitement of great high school hockey action here from the TD Garden. It is between Catholic Memorial and Hingham. Hingham has a one goal lead and we're getting set for a very exciting third period. One of the things I've noticed about CM as I've watched them during the season and in the tournament, they're a pretty good third period team. They tend to weigh you down in the third period. They've outscored opponents six to three in the tournament in the third period. And over the course of the regular season, they've outscored their opponents 23-16 in the third period. Well, there's their mentor, Bill Hansen, working his bench, dressed up in his St. Patrick's Day glory. There's a chance to look at Derek McGinnis. He has eight saves here tonight and a very solid save percentage in the postseason. Well, I, you know, I'd be shocked if he didn't see at least eight shots in this third period. If he can keep that shot total down, four shots a game, I don't think CM's going to beat Hingham only getting four shots in this period. Hingham but, is in white. They have a one nothing lead. They tip the puck out to the neutral zone and skate it ahead. Hingham looking to build on their lead. They come down. Here's a chance right in front. The shot is a save. Biggest save of the night right there by Tommy Knox. Uh, that was a great save by Knox and a terrific play by Hingham on the break. Good hard shot by Andrew Papio. And the puck cleared to center ice. Here comes CM. Looking to tie it up. They go to the net. Can't get the shot off. Puck goes to the corner. They roll it out in front. Standing there defensively to pick that puck up is Eric Sherman. And he clears it ahead to center ice. Hingham comes in, but as they do, they're in ahead of the play and offside. So, uh, right now in the first period, this is the best scoring opportunity that Hingham's had for a while as they maintain possession coming in the zone. So just a fake of that shot from the outside by Andrew Pompeo, and then to try to slide it across. Just a terrific play. 14-12 remaining, and Tommy Knox with a terrific stop. 14 saves over two periods and change. Puck out right in front of the scorer's bench. At center ice, puck is shot in. It fires off the glass. High shot all the way around. Right now, again, we talked about this in the second period, Norty. They start to set up a shooting gallery after a while, which gets the players running around in their own zone. Well, I don't care about shooting galleries when they're missing by 10 feet. Out at center ice, spoken like a true coach. At the neutral zone with the puck there. Now, see, they, they dump it in, and now they have somebody alive enough to go in and maybe pressure the puck. Usually when they dumped it in that second period, they were dumping it in on a change. They did it right there. They've got some fresh troops on, which they need. Just don't throw it there. And out to center ice. Here's a pass in stride. Hingham brings it in a shot. Just misses on the short side. Good hard shot by Alex Papio. Kept alive. Hingham, they roll it out in front. Intercepted there nicely by Mark Hetnick. Hetnick gets the pass ahead. Now he'll take it himself and go deep with it. Sends it along the wall. Of all the defense that I've wa watched this year play, Hetnick is as good as anybody. Here it comes back to the point with a good shot. Rister right on goal, save. Rebound came loose and then covering up on the play is Derek McGinnis. Yeah, that's what McGinnis, I think, has done a very good job of tonight. One of the things he's done is keep a clean uh, net cage area, clean cage area. When you get that puck, now freeze it right away. Get the puck frozen so you don't have loose puck right there. Keep your crease clean. Good puck control there. Get it controlled. Get the glove down on it. Freeze it. Keep that area in front of your net quiet. Hingham tries to bring it up on the right wing on the far side. It is stopped along the wall. Players for each side get to it. Catholic Memorial gets it. The Knights send it deep. There's a centering pass. Side of the net. Shot save. Rebound right out in front. Oh! right there by McGinnis. That's the best save of the night. Player falls down on the puck. They start pushing after it. Oh, boy, did McGinnis make a beauty right there. Well, that's what gets you to think that all the stars might be lined up right when you end up getting almost what looks like an open net for CM and they're not able to convert. Turnover in the back. Puck gets flipped in front. And this is just a wide open shot, just wide of the net. Great opportunity for CM. Terrific forechecking behind the goal. First chance. Now the second chance. Great opportunity for number 14, Brian Bessinger, their hottest player in the playoffs with eight points, three goals, and five assists. And boy, I tell you, that's as good a chance as he's had all tournament long. 
That may have gone off the mask of the netminder, Derek McGinnis. Wow. It was. Great stop. A spectacular stop. He just dove across with everything he had. Here they come again, Catholic Memorial. The defending champs get the shot. It's deflected away. It goes to the corner, round behind. Puck cleared along the wall. Stepped al kept keeping it alive there is Lazaro. This is a man advantage situation. It is the first in this period. They are 0 for 1 on the game. Here's a shot right on. Save. Hanging on is McGinnis. And he covers up. Sam, Sam has struggled on power play all season long. At 20% effectiveness on power play, 9% in the tournament. And that's not real good. 20% is not good for them. And 9% in the tournament is not very good at all. Uh, Hingham has been very good on power play and pretty good at joining him. 53 seconds on the man advantage. That shot deflected on the way through off the stick of Starrett. Yeah, all those stats notwithstanding, you don't want to make a living playing shorthand against CM. <laughs> True, good point. 11 and a half to go, third period. Puck stolen away. Hingham with a chance right on. A bomb. Good hard shot. Tim Driscoll. Yeah, was a nice stick play by Driscoll. Four checked the puck away with the stick. He has a very quick release. His goal is the only one that's found the net here tonight. It's his 28th of the year, and that came in the first period. It was a power play goal. Puck free in the Hingham zone along the wall on the far side. Driscoll tries to chop it out, and it goes into the Hingham bench, which stops the play. You know, I've watched uh, watched him play quite a bit, Tim Driscoll, and he's a kind of he's sort of what I call a quiet. 28-29 goal scorer. You know, you watch him play night after night, and lots of times you don't really notice him. And then all of a sudden you look at the stat chart at the end of the game, goal two assists, goal three assists. He's been a terrific year for them. And boy, uh, none bigger than the goal he scored in the first period. Catholic Memorial wins the faceoff. They get a shot. It never gets to the net. Hingham able to get to it. They clear it out and send it all the way down. No icing. Play handled there by Catholic Memorial. And they look to bring it to center ice. Shane Dorsey. Team's at equal strength now as the puck is shot in. Blockered away by McGinnis. Good hard work along the wall. Puck comes out in front. And right there to get to it. Good play. Trying to move out to center ice. Knocked down in the neutral zone was Eric Sherman. I see a lot of those plays during the course of the year. Some are called interference. Some are not. all season long at 20% effectiveness on power play, 9% in the tournament, and that's not real good. 20% is not good for them, and 9% in the tournament is not very good at all. Uh, Hingham has been very good on power play and pretty good at joining him. 53 seconds on the man advantage. That shot deflected on the way through off the stick of Starrett. Yeah, all those stats notwithstanding, you don't want to make a living playing shorthand against CM. <laughs> True, good point. 11 and a half to go, third period. Puck stolen away, Hingham with a chance, right on, a bomb. Good hard shot, Tim Driscoll. Yeah, was a nice stick play by Driscoll, four checked the puck away with the stick. He has a very quick release. His goal is the only one that's found the net here tonight. It's his 28th of the year, and that came in the first period. It was a power play goal. Puck free in the Hingham zone, along the wall on the far side. Driscoll tries to chop it out. And it goes into the Hingham bench, which stops the play. You know, I've watched uh, watched him play quite a bit, Tim Driscoll, and he's a kind of he's sort of what I call a quiet 28-29 goal scorer. <laughs> you know, you watch him play night after night, and lots of times you don't really notice him. And then all of a sudden, you look at the stat chart at the end of the game: goal, two assists, goal, three assists. He's been a, a terrific year for them, and boy, uh, none bigger than the goal he scored in the first period. Catholic Memorial wins the faceoff. They get a shot. It never gets to the net. Hingham able to get to it. They clear it out and send it all the way down. No icing. Play handled there by Catholic Memorial. And they look to bring it to center ice. Shane Dorsey. Team's at equal strength now as the puck is shot in. Blockered away by McGinnis. Good hard work along the wall. Puck comes out in front. And right there to get to it. Good play. Trying to move out to center ice. Knocked down in the neutral zone was Eric Sherman. I see a lot of those plays during the course of the year. Some are called interference, some are not. I didn't think that was, but I've seen it called interference when it wasn't that much. I was hoping it wasn't a knee on knee. Sherman able to get right to the bench. And Hingham skates it away. Out at center ice. Stopped there in the neutral zone by Ballou. Ballou's quick skater drops it off. 
scoring chance. They had Blue all by himself in front. Well, it wasn't read real well there by uh, John Fitzgerald, the number 14 Trungley. They didn't quite read each other properly, and the result, the uh, pass was not converted. Shane Dorsey took that shot off his glove. It nearly directed it toward the cage. Still 1-0 Hingham from the first period on to this point. Under 10 minutes to go, third period. Catholic Memorial with the puck and a bid. Here's a chance it's deflected off of a stick and out of play. I'll tell you what's changed a little bit this second period. Hingham's defense, a uh, third period rather, Hingham's defense in the center of the ice is a little stickier. In that second period, CM was able to move the puck down to the middle of the ice and establish possession. And Hingham's much scrappier in the middle of the ice this third period, and CM finding it a harder time to gain possession in the Hingham defensive end. Well, what we're really seeing, Norty, is this could be another icing here on Hingham is a real good sort of coaching uh, chess match here. What happened in the first period was corrected by Bill Hansen and his staff after that first period. After the second period, it was Tony Messina and his team at Hingham trying to make a correction there as well here too. Yeah, I think when you're in Hingham's spot, it's a difficult spot to be because you want to be aggressive, yet you don't want to be so aggressive while there's a great face-off shot. My goodness, can't allow those. Good alert play by McGinnis there out the face-off. You want to play aggressively, but you can't play so aggressively you give them odd man rushes. Watch this out the face-off. Snap it. That's Colucci. He's good at it. He wins this draw. It drops it back off to the point. Shot coming right on. Save just dropping down is McGinnis. And this young goaltender, yeah, that's lots of confidence. Well, clean crease again. You know, you get that shot, you smother it. No rebounds, nothing loose. I'm not talking about just rebounds. Nothing loose around the goal crease. Keep it clean. With the exception of that jumping save he's made, he's been very calm in the cage, too. Out at center ice, chasing after it. Moving with a puck to drive, and it's right on, and a good hard shot. Another chance in front. First one was by Driscoll, and then the other one pops up, and the goaltender, Tommy Knox, hangs on to it. Wow. Tommy Knox not getting the same credit as McGinnis, but he's played a very strong well, you game. You saw Tommy Knox here. We saw the way BU won the national championship last year with that puck flip, that nine iron over the goalie. He never saw it. Tommy Knox has to be very alert here. Break by Hingham. They get the shot off from the outside. That rebound's going to come out to that high slot area, and it's just going to be golfed. It's up in the air. Don't want it to go over your shoulder. Grab it, get a face off. Jack Parker loves that shot. Yeah. Just over nine minutes to go in the third period. One to nothing, Hingham. They roll the puck out in front. Catholic Memorial clears, but not out of the zone. Kept alive by Hingham. They send the puck and work it now in the right wing corner. Puck still there. Good forecheck pressure, as we saw in the first period by Hingham. And finally, CM's going to use the far wall to our near side and get it out to center ice. Puck free in the neutral zone. Little sloppy play on both sides there. Hingham gets a piece of it, and they'll look to start it out up towards center ice. Jake Quinn, strong game, gets it ahead, it's tipped forward. And then on the forecheck is John Fitzgerald, one of the best skaters on the ice tonight. Well, if you're not a good skater, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb out in that ice tonight. There's a lot of skaters. There's a chance Hingham, that's a whistling shot wide of the mark. They take a lot of shots. Coveney again with that bomb. Hingham's happy to take the shots when they get them, and they just let them. If you got a gun, shoot it, and Coveney can fire the puck. Hingham in their own zone, trying to get it out quickly. They do through the neutral zone. Good work defensively to stop the play, slow it down, regain possession, and here come the Knights. They trail by a goal with just under eight minutes to go now in the third period. Puck stopped along the wall. Good play, Knights. They'll go to the cage, have a man in front well covered. It comes to the near side and finally cleared. Out to the neutral zone. Chasing after it there is Jeff West. He's a name we've mentioned many times already tonight. Hingham tries to keep it along. The wall they do. Drop pass in the slot. Good chance. Shot blocker save. Rebound loose in front and it's cleared aside. Dangerous play. Hingham playing in the bouncing puck in all different angles here. Well, this line is a pretty effective line for... Uh, Hingham, it's the line that got the goal, the game-winning goal off the That post. one went off the post. A My bouncing goodness. puck from the outside. Now it's right in front again. Good chance for CM 